Now let's see the hand of God. So he says here in verse 10, And I say unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not the gods of the Amorite. Mm. He is the Lord God. And there's no deciding. All other gods are dummy, bunch of dummies. No power created by the imagination of man and by the hands of man. And let me say that again. Anything that you and I have created and we are bowing down to, that thing is too small, even for us. The God that you and I can make, that is not God big enough to save you. And I saw it in Africa. <laughs> Lord, we talk about statues here and there, you know, curve this and this and stone and wood, and put them there and sacrifice animal blood and all that. Something even human beings. They come and bow, you know, and worship that. Oh my God, oh my God, the living of me, this and that. I saw it through all my childhood. I know your reaction now. <laughs> you say, uh huh, that is why you people are primitive like this. We here in America, you know what? We ain't got no idol. Who told you this? <laughs> you think they will make you mad again? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. You worship money here in America. Mm -hmm. yes. That is God too. Yeah. That's true. And they even call it Almighty Dollar. Mm -hmm. oh that God. is nonsense. The dollar is not Almighty. Yeah. Jehovah God is Almighty. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 That's right. People, Americans, are willing to do anything just to get money. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Gambling, playing lotto. Oh, they will take God's money instead of giving the tithes and offering. They will go and gamble playing lotto with it. And I go to those gas stations. <laughs> I told them, Lord, <laughs> I'm not explaining that I have eyes to see. <laughs> and then you go there, you know, when you walk in, into that, so that I go there to buy my gas, and I will see somebody do looking here. I say, This is the church person right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hypocrite. They're looking around, maybe there's anybody who knows me now. <laughs> yeah, your pastor, your preacher may not watch you, but Jehovah God is there. He's That's watching true. you. Amen. We seem to fear the preacher more than fearing God. Amen. That is foolishness. Amen. And some of them will go there quickly and put some few dollars to the Indian, you know, you know, who you know who has the gas station, and then they give the numbers, you know. And I'm standing out watching them, and then they get, you know, quickly they get and they go into their cars and they sit down there. With your windows in the windows of your car, down and just scratch it out. So, everybody has seen that look like. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're looking left and right. Very uncomfortable because their consciences are showing that it's wrong what they're doing. But they'll do it anyway because they fear people more than they fear God. And even so, they now have got audacity. And I don't blame them. Because I've heard preachers also say that. They say, when you win that lot, to bring your tithes here. Mm. Let me say it again to every one of you coming to my ministry. If you win the lot, unless if I don't know. If you come and you give your tithes and offer without me knowing where your money came from, I'm innocent about it. But if you came and you gave me that check, I don't care how many billions of dollars. You told me I won it through lotto. And I'm giving my tithes to, to God. I'll say, take it, go out with you. I don't need it. <laughs> We are encouraging people to sin against God and get money to come and give tithes in the church. Something is mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. So here, as I said, the idolatry in America is stupidity or avarice or covetousness. Love of money has destroyed us. Mm 